hyphen. A hyphen is used to join words together. This includes hyphenated compound words, hyphens and numbers, hyphens with compound modifiers, hyphens with participles, and hyphens with prefixes. Hyphenated compound words. These are words with a hyphen between them. For example, mother-in-law, two-year-old. Hyphenated compound words tend to become closed over time, so they become one word. For example, fireman, notebook. Open compound words are made up of two nouns that represent a single idea. There's a space between the words, but no hyphen. For example, dinner table, living room. Hyphens and numbers. Numbers should have a hyphen between them when spelt out, especially if this is a two word number. For example, I am 21 years old. In other cases, when we use numbers as part of a compound noun, a hyphen should be used to connect them to the noun that follows. For example, the teacher gave a 30 minute lecture to the class. Hyphens are also used with fractions. For example, I need one third of a pound of flour and two eggs. Hyphens with compound modifiers. A compound modifier is just two words that work together as one adjective. The hyphen is used to show the reader that the words work together to describe the noun. The noun generally comes after the adjective, however, if it comes before, then we leave the hyphen out. For example, the bread was impossible to eat because it was rock hard. So here, the noun comes before the adjective, so we leave the hyphen out. However, if we write the sentence as, the rock hard bread was impossible to eat, then we insert the hyphen. These same rules apply to participles. So, hyphens with participles. An example of present participle is, they are some beautiful looking flowers in the garden. An example of past participle is A well-known poet will perform tonight. Hyphens with prefixes, for example, ex, co, pre, post, etc. So a prefix comes before the word and changes the meaning of the word. A hyphen is used with the prefix. For example, he was the ex-mayor of the town. She is my co-worker.